Hello everyone. So today in this uh, episode of the real time strategy series with C++. So here we are going to work on how to determine the location on the map when I click on the map. So here you see there is a black square. When I click on the map, the black square is moved there. So this is the first step to implement jump in between locations in the map by clicking on the minimap. So here you can see this red square is moving around as I move around the world. But that's the only way I can move around the world right now. Either using mouse, pushing to the edge or just use WSAD to move around. But I want to implement as the next easier step when I click on wherever I want on the minimap my controller will jump there so as a first step, step for that I'm gonna implement this uh, way to determine the location where I clicks on the map so before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my patreon page once you become a member, you can access everything without any limits. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description. And also here is the full playlist of this series. So I have shared everything and implemented everything from scratch. So you can follow these uh, videos and implement everything you see here by yourself. So and also, so this is this series is I'm primarily using C++ as the programming language, but there is another series that uh, that is using Blueprints mainly for development. This uh, playlist contains everything that I have done here. Here also I have implemented a bunch of uh, mechanics that we need for a real-time strategy game. All right, now let's get back to the today's episode. All right, so first let me show what I have. So here this red square represents the area that my controller is currently focusing on. Now what I want to do is when I click anywhere on this map, I should jump to that location. So to do that, First, we need a way to determine when I click on somewhere over here what is the location that maps the clicked location in the world so for that here let me open my minimap and I'll add maybe an image that Power the entire area. I want to have some element to implement on click event, so that's why I'm adding this image and uh, I'll make it cover the entire area and let's make it fully transparent. Okay, can add on mouse button down. Let's create a binding. on map clicked okay to avoid this one in I'll make an event reply but we don't really need that event tree all right now to make sure that event is happening let's get mouse position on the viewport and I'll print it in like five seconds yeah see now I do get the event so if I click here, I don't get the event, so 
which is good only the this blue area only for this blue area I get the event okay now we need to calculate the locations so for that yeah if I go here you see the size is 1920 so basically full HD full HD size is considered the size of this viewport so we need that so we can use get now we know the mouse position get to weave port size and here if i divide this from the viewport scale i would get that full hd resolution so let me just print this and show you click see thousand by thousand that's not correct what did i print oh it should be we bought a scale One thousand nine hundred and twenty and one thousand eighty nineteen twenty ten eighty. Okay. Now here we need to find the location position of the mouse relative to this part where the map is shown relative to the map so that we can use it to determine the position of the mouse on the map so for that we need to identify this middle position of the map and here we know this border the size is 235 by 235 but the x size is actually this with the, because we have this scale change going on here and also we have this minimap rotation because of that this size is similar to this which is 245 345 just change it like that 245 okay so from here to here this position would be size of the screen x size of the screen minus 345 divided by 2 and y position would be here uh, y size of the screen minus 245 divided by 2 but here we have an offset as well which is this let me check no not that so yeah let's build the logic up to this point so here uh, we need to subtract This much three forty five and two forty five divided by two. Will we could use a float here and to account for this offset that we have. here i'll add this is 85 but yeah we have let's divide it by two because we have a scaling of 0.5 here so 
85 divided by 2 maybe I'll just use 42.5 minus 42.5 and then if I subtract this value from this we should get the position of the mouse related to this widget but here you know we have an scaling and also a rotation applied to the map so to revert them I'll multiply this because we have a 0.5 transformation in here uh, in y direction I'll make the two here and there is no scale change in x direction so I'll make it one and also we have a rotation for the map minus 45 degrees so to revert that I'll rotate this with 45 degrees positive okay and this result should be the location where I click on the map so to show that here I'll add another point like this instead of focus let's call it click change the color to black get click position no but as canvas slot that position is this okay let me make sure this is up correct I'll set it to zero zero location. Right now, let's see. Here you see that click point. If I click here, you see now it's moving to wherever I click on the map. So, right, there is a little bit of an offset, but that's fine for now as long as uh, the controller jump to a location that is close enough to that should be good enough but if you want to maybe correct that we can add some more offset here All right, so yeah, this is working now properly. So next time I want to actually work on how to make the character controller jump to the location that, that is represented by this black square when I click on the map. So we can quickly jump between locations in the map easily using the minimap. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download here in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.